God's not going to add those types of sorrows with his blessings. They'll be pure. They won't have any stress with the blessings. And they're not going to, you're not going to worry about anything. And now, here's my take on prosperity teaching. I think it's a good thing. I think it's good when you teach someone how to prosper. I think it's good when you teach someone how to become a better person, become a, a person that's established and rooted in, in Christ and rooted in the Word. But I also think that we have to be very careful that we don't take it to that next level where we, we're doing those things to get money. Because if you're doing all that killing, stealing, lying, cheating, and everything to get money, then God didn't give it to you. And it's going to come with a whole lot of stress and a whole lot of mess. He wants all his children to be blessed. He wants his children to be blessed. Don't doubt that. But he wants to bless us. He don't want us to, to depend on anybody else but him. He wants us to seek him first. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all else will be added unto you. Righteousness and all else. And to the desires of your heart. What does your heart desire? Because everybody doesn't desire to be wealthy. And everybody doesn't desire to have more than enough. Some people just want enough to get by. And they would be happy with that. Everybody don't dream of, of riches and fine mansions. Some people do now. Don't get me wrong. A lot of people want to be blessed to, to that level. But some people may not. He'll give us the, the desires of our heart. Not what somebody else's dreams and goals and desires are, but our dreams, goals, and desires. He wants to bless us. And he wants us to be a blessing. He wants to bless us, and he wants us to be a blessing to others. That's what he wants. Because he's not going to give you something just for you. And every blessing that he gives you is not always about money. There's other ways to prosper. Not just prosper financially, but there's also spiritual prosperity, spiritual growth, spiritual knowledge, getting a more closer relationship with the Lord prospering through the word but if we're going to just focus on money then he want us when he if he says to us give it all away how many people will do it how many people that's the problem with money that's what makes it hard for people who have so much because how many of them will give God how many people will 100% give God full control of their finances, if he actually says to you, give it all away, who is going to give it all away? That's why it makes it harder for a person, rich person, because they, when you're poor, you have nothing to give away. And sometimes people give more than they have. And that's the easiest, easiest part for a poor person because they have nothing to, to give. All they can give, Lord, is their all and the, the, the spiritual part of them and their dedication and their love. They have nothing financial to give. And if they give a little bit that they have and give all of their last, they've given more than somebody else who has abundantly and only gave a little bit. That's the trick. The trick is, are you going to give it all up for God if he says, give it all up? That's when it becomes an issue. If God says, give it all away, how many people will give it all away? If he says, give it all away. That is what makes it hard. He wants us to put him first. Seek him first. And he'll give us to the, the desires of our heart if we put him first. Yes, he wants you to prosper. He wants to be the one to prosper you. He wants the one to be the one to lift you up, to bless you as a testament of what he can do. But if you do all these other things to get ahead, then it didn't come from him. I'm just saying 
Bible says he wants to bless us. He wants to bless us abundantly. But will we put him first? Before the money, giving him full control in our relationships, in our financial areas, in our spiritual growth areas, whatever areas we, we have. Not just saying, Lord, I give you a little bit, but I'm not going to, going to allow you in that area. Will we give it all to him? Full control. Will we put him first? That's just my take on it. That's just what I feel on it. When I read the word, that's what I receive. How many of us will give up everything that we have for him? For him. And that's all I wanted to, to say. That's all I wanted to, to say. Now, do I want God's best? Oh, I, I want his very best. I want what he wants best for me, what he has designed for me. I can desire, but he could give me my greatest desire. And I desire what he desires for me. Beyond belief, my wildest dream, whatever he desires for me. But I have to put him first in all that I do. Not second, not third, fourth, fifth, not in a top of tenth place. He wants to be first. And I have to put him first. And he comes before money. And he comes before prosperity. And if I have to be, God forbid, I'm not, you know, I want to be blessed, don't get me wrong. I'm, a, I'm a good for prosper. But I want to grow in, in, in spiritually. I want him to prosper me. I don't want to have to lie for money. I don't want to have to steal or kill for money. I don't want to have to go rob somebody blind, stick it up in no grocery stores. And I've been destitute now. I'm just telling you. I'm not trying to ro rob nobody for money. I'm not trying to lie for no money. I'm not trying to do all those things just to get by. Because that's on me. And then I've erred and then I've covered it after it. So if I tell you something, it's going to have to be the truth. Because I'm not burning. I don't plan to burn for some cash. I just don't plan on that. I pray, pray to the good Lord to cover me from that one. Because I'm not trying to play the stick up kid for no money so I can, you know, I'm not knocking anybody else to struggle. I'm not, because I know we've all had to go through our own trials and tribulations. I'm just saying, at this point in my life, where I'm at with the Lord, that's not an option for me. No, 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 no. That's not an option. I feel like God should be the one to prosper you. And if he says give it up, you got to give it up. That's your soul salvation. I'm just saying. But he, he I mean. <laughs> would they? <laughs> would, Lord. Woo, that's something in the Lord. That's, that's, um, that's something to think about. Seriously. Mm, that's something to think about. Okay, so that's all I wanted to say about prosperity preaching. I'm all for it. Nothing wrong with it. As long as you let God take the lead. Prosper. He wants all of his children to prosper. He wants to prosper all of his children. But he wants to be in the driver's seat. He don't want you putting them in the back seat. And not in the back seat. Then you're putting them in the trunk. You not even want him to drive, right? Don't even want him to be a passenger. You just put put Jesus in the trunk. Now get him out the trunk. Don't put Jesus in the trunk. Don't put him in the trunk. Let him drive. I'm learning that. Because sometimes when I want to take the wheel, I have to give it back to Jesus. I'm trying to drive. And in that area, um, it's, it's, it's called, no, I don't have the license for that. I have to give it to Jesus. So I want to thank you for watching. For those of you who watch, um, say keep the faith. Give God your best and expect God's best. Expect his best, but allow him to prosper you. Don't do all those other things just to get ahead. Because sooner or later, they'll catch up with you.
So that's all I wanted to say. God bless. I'm going to continue to try to keep it real with God through keeping it real with myself. Thank you. Bye.